So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates, make sure the computer is fully up to date. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description. Now, once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna get the latest one. Make sure it does not say source on it. You do not want to get source. You're gonna get the other one, the one under it. That is not source. You're gonna get this one. It's now gonna start downloading. And then once that's downloaded, now we're gonna right click on it and then click on show in folder. And now it's gonna be here. Now, once you have this folder, you're gonna right click on it and then click on extract all. And now you're gonna untick this and then click on extract. And then once you have this new folder, you're gonna double click on it. And now you're gonna find the patcher. You're gonna right click on it and then click on run as administrator. This is safe, so I'm gonna click on more info and then click on run anyway. And then click on yes. In my case, I'm using a virtual machine. That's why nothing came up. But in your case, it will detect your driver file. And now after you've run that, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.